Hello and welcome to this awesome video where we're going to give you 20 free virtual sets for open broadcaster software and I'm going to show you how to use them. So let me go over to the whiteboard and show you what a virtual set is at its core. Okay, so a virtual set is essentially a background image and we've got some awesome images for you. We have over 20 of them, some for different churches, some for corporate presentations, some for just inspiring, some for educational uh, types and I've used a lot of them on this channel so you might have seen them we've got over 20 of them and essentially it's a background image and a foreground image let's imagine this foreground image is a desk so you got two different images and then inside of those two images is your green screen video with your talent and the background that's green or blue we're actually using a blue one today uh, is transparent because you've applied a chroma key and it makes it look as though your talent is inside of this awesome virtual set, which you can change with Photoshop and all kinds of things to make it branded exactly the way you want. That's basically what a virtual set is. Let me show you some things you should know about virtual sets, and then I'll show you how to set it up in OBS. Okay, so we got tons of free virtual sets for you guys to play around with. Something to think about. Are you best served with a virtual set or should you create a real studio? Here we generally use our real studio because there's some pros and cons you should think about. Green screens are great because you can instantly change where you are and what's going on. You can create dynamic overlays and chroma keys and virtual sets are really, really cool. You can also uh, actually uh, overlay yourself on top of a presentation, which is awesome, but it does require a green screen, really good lighting, and it can be difficult to set up if you don't have the right lighting, essentially. Um, now, the real set, is really great because it always looks realistic. It's hard to really mess it up. It's kind of dummy proof. And you can have lots of different camera angles. Like we have close up cameras, wide angles. So we usually use our real set. Um, but the cons are that it's difficult to change. It's a little bit more expensive to set up a real studio versus just popping up a green screen. So you can use green screens in a lot of different ways. One of our friends, Tom Sinclair says, always think about lighting. You need to light your talent in front of the green screen and the green screen itself so that there's no shadows from your talent. And we're gonna show you how to do that today. Now, one of our other friends, you at Clink in our Facebook user group on PTZ Optics user group, you can, he actually set up like this television that's green and it allows him to create this awesome interactive television behind him that doesn't have any glare and it's custom fit on a tripod. So you can do a lot of creative stuff. Another tip from Kyle Gunderman, uh, who's been in our chat room, you might see him on our live show. He found a great paint color called Sparkling App SG430, which is great for painting chroma key walls. It's a sparkling apple. Okay, so we talked about what a virtual set is. It's a background file, a foreground file, and our live video. In OBS, I'm gonna jump into OBS now. We're gonna use the color key uh, to color key out that image, that live video image in the middle using a filter. So here's Tess. Hi, Tess, thanks for being here. and Tess has a blue screen behind her. It's actually kind of purple. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click her video. This is an RTSP feed. I'll just double click it so you can see coming in off of one of our cameras. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click and hit filters. And we're going to add a color key filter. I've already got one open here. And you can see that if I choose blue, it's just not the right enough color. So a lot of times you have to choose a custom color for this to really work perfectly. So what you can do is you can take a screenshot of the color there. I actually put it into Photoshop and you know, there's other applications that you can use and you can custom get that actual color number there, which is really helpful. And then you can pop that in to the custom color option there in OBS. Now you can use this similarity thing to slowly remove the background. And now we've got a removed background, which is great. Okay, so that's half the battle. We've got our background removed and looks like we could do a little better job, but for the purposes of this, one of the things that we have to do is maybe light test a little better. So I'm just gonna, I haven't set up the lighting perfectly, but there's a little extra light. And now, we've got our background. So I've got one background image here. Let me just hide that so you can see kind of, I added the background image and now I wanna add my foreground image. 
And so you're going to have access to tons of these to play around with. There's over 20 of them, but I've got one waiting for me here, right here. Oh, battery running low. All right. So here is my, my desk. So this is like the fake faux desk, if you will. It's going to be right here. Now Tess looks gigantic. So I got to kind of fit her in here. And voila. There is our virtual set. So you can build virtual sets like this in OBS to create some really great scenes and transitions. And we could even... I'll do one more thing here. We could even add one last little image. You could do, even do a video, but I actually have this set. All right, my computer just, battery went out. So let's just call it there. <laughs> I apologize for that. We've been doing a lot of videos today, but I think we did get through our presentation. I hope that's helpful. You could, what I was about to show was that you could actually put a little uh, video maybe in the background television that we have. A lot of great stuff. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I hope it's helpful. We'll put the link to the 20 free OBS um, video files for virtual sets in the link below. Thanks for watching. Bye.